Reading? What's the point? It's boring. It's a waste of time. What's that you say? There's nothing to read? That's where you're wrong, kiddo. Reading gives us a place to go where we have to stay where we are. Let's take a look at a few of my favorite books that could very well become yours. Dan Gutman is my favorite of all Hi, time. Hi, my name Here's is Dan why. Gutman and I'm the author of My Weird School. It's a series about this kid AJ and his friends who go to elementary school where all the grown-ups are crazy. It all started with Miss Daisy is crazy. She's the dumbest teacher in the history of the world. As it turns out, during Mr. Louie is Screwy, Miss Daisy falls in love with the reading specialist, Mr. Mackey. They have a baby named Jackie Mackey. Along the way, we meet the principal, Mr. Klutz, who's nuts, the art teacher, Ms. Hannah, who's bananas, and many other weird grown-ups. Also during the series, there are food fights, the principal gets stuck at the top of a flagpole, and all the teachers get arrested and thrown in jail. There are 21 books in the series, and then AJ and the gang graduate from second grade, and I started a new series called My Weird School Days, with a Z, and Mr. Granite is their new teacher. He's from the planet Etinarg. He tries to blast off in a rocket ship to go home, but a cow knocks it off course, and he has to stick around and teach third grade. Along the way, we meet Dr. Brad, who's gone mad, Miss Laney, who's zany, and many other weird grown-ups. After 12 books in that series, we started a new series called My Weirder School, and we get to meet Mr. Burke, who's berserk, Dr. Nicholas, who's ridiculous, and many other weird grown-ups. The bad news is that Mrs. Lane is a Pain is the last book in My Weirder School. But the good news is that I'm starting a new series. Yes, it'll be called My Weirdest School. And the first book in My Weirdest School will be, of course, Mr. Cooper is Super. So if you like reading about grown-ups who are weird, odd, crazy, nuts, strange, strange bizarre, batty, batty bonkers, bonkers, berserk, bananas, bananas loopy, zany, zany, dizzy, kooky, freaky, out of their minds, off their rockers, losing their marbles, out of control, and off, off the, the wall. wall. Well, you've come to the right place. So, read like crazy. The first book I want to talk to you about is Miss Daisy is Crazy. Miss Daisy, who teaches second grade, doesn't know how to add or subtract. Not only that, she doesn't know how to read or write either. She's the dumbest teacher in the history of the world. Second, the first book in the Weirder School series, Miss Child has Gone Wild. Third grade has won a weird contest, so they get to go on the field trip to the zoo. That's how they meet Miss Child, the weirdest zookeeper in the history of the world. She thinks animals are smarter than people. She thinks elephants can paint pictures. She keeps snakes in her pockets for fun. Finally, the first book in the hilarious My Weirdest School series, AJ's third grade teacher, Mr. Granite, is retiring after a million hundred years. It turns out his new teacher, Mr. Cooper, is even weirder than Mr. Granite. One day he's a rat man and he teaches about rodents. Next day, he's Lava Man and teaches about volcanoes. But just what happens when a real superhero is needed? Will Mr. Cooper protect the school from evil or just embarrass it to get? So, you have it, a few of my favorite reads. Are you interested? I dare you to be weird and pick one up.